Hey guys, it's Lee. Welcome back to my channel and to this month end empties video for June 2022. So I do have a few bits here. Um, few non sensi items, few non wax items, etc, etc. So I will try and be slightly organised. Um, I do kind of have it laid out. So I will start with the non sensi items and <coughs> Without further ado, I've gone through a Mountain Pine Yankee Candle Votive. I've been trying to use up these little votive candles for ages, <coughs> excuse me, and I am finally starting to come towards the end of them. Um, I do only have a couple of these left. I um, do have some non Yankee Candle Votives as well to work through, so slowly working my way through those. Um, then finished off a fabulosa candle and as you can see this did burn pretty well considering it was cheap I think they were two for one ninety nine or something did smell quite nice um, can't see what scent it was I think it was like rainbow berries or something like that so yeah it burnt pretty well apart from the last burn um, quite pleased with that uh, probably wouldn't buy another one but it was worth trying. Then I went through a Parks London Nature's Own Revitalising Candle. So this is Lemongrass, Mint, Orange, Basil and Thyme. And it was, it is small, but it did burn really well. Bit of residue, but it did burn all the way to the bottom. These candles are perfect when you just want like maybe an hour um, or so and that's one of the reasons I also like these small diptyque ones because they within an hour, hour and a half of a full melt pool so you can actually blow it out without causing any tunneling. So that's the non scenty wax. Um, no it isn't. So there's no non scenty wax that's yeah. So then I finished off a Homeworks by Harry Slatkin Blue as a Blue Violet Azalea candle. Burnt really well, um, pretty much right to the very bottom. You can see, excuse me, you can see the wick clips at the very bottom, and yeah, there's definitely very little wax left in this. And it was a nice one. And the scent notes are blue violet, mimosa flower, pink grapefruit, and apple blossom and that it, yeah it burnt very well um burnt i with these i find the first few burns they don't tend to pull out very well and don't tend to burn very evenly but after maybe two or three burns it kind of sorts itself out and as you can see it was absolutely fine <coughs> and on to the scentsy waxes first one I've finished off is Lights Out. So this is Nightfall's gently over relaxing sandalwood, sweet vanilla and warm amber. And this was from February 2021. This is coming into the catalogue in August. So the whole Catching Seas collection is. So that wasn't my favourite one. Snuggle Up was and I'm really glad that's coming back. So then I finished off a blueberry cheesecake, which is thick, rich New York cheesecake with a light graham cracker crust and delicious blueberries. I wasn't keen on this. I found it had a bit of a sour note from the baked cheesecake. So um, yeah, not my favorite. Then berry bubble blue, which I was quite frankly glad to see the back of. So this is a delicious blast of blue raspberry, tart green apple and sponge sugar will brighten up bath time, bedtime, any time. And for me it was just a sweet paraffin wax. Really wasn't impressed with it. Then we have <coughs> vanilla blackberry, which is bold, fruity blackberry, draws you in with an amber and vanilla finish and this was really nice. It's quite tart. And like black raspberry vanilla, which is quite sweet, this is definitely more on the tart side. And I believe it's still available in clearance. 
Then I finished off a bar of the Muppets, which is show-stopping, sparkling melon, cherry berry and sunny Valencia orange dazzled the applauding audience, while creamy vanilla soothes even the crankiest hecklers in the balcony. And yeah, it was nice. I do have another bar. It wasn't my favourite. Then I finished off a bar of Unicorn Kisses. So this is this fantasy making fragrance proves that anything's possible with pink watermelon, cherry lollipop and rainbow rose. And this one, I really like this one, both on its own and as a mixer. It's in my club and it is going to stay in my club certainly for a while. Then I finished off a bar of Welcome Home, no, Happy New Home. So this is bright notes of lemon blossom and mandarin settling beneath a bright blue sky. And this was from the Moment by Moment collection. And I was hoping that this would have actually made it into the Autumn Winter catalogue. It hasn't, but you never know. Really, really nice. Wish I'd left it in my club. It was in the clearance, so I just stocked up on, I think, about six or seven bars. Took it out of my club. Do I regret it? Kind of. It's still in the clearance, so I will pick another bar up to refurnish that one and keep my stops stocked. Then this one I really wasn't overly keen on, which is Looney Tunes. So this is a nostalgic Saturday morning splash of apple juice joins ripe red berries and sugared cherry to bring the Looney Tunes vibe home. And I just was not, was not a fan. Um, was not saddened at all to see that one used up. Then <clears throat> on to the non-wax Scentsy items. So I finished off a pack of Blue Agave Melon Pods. <clears throat> I did actually take these to Ibiza with me. I completely decimated one and binned it when I was out there. This one, there was still a little bit of fragrance. I did consider leaving it, but I brought it back, finished it off in my car in my Scentsy Go. So that's that one finished off. Then, speaking of car, I complemented it with the Blue Agave and Melon Scent Circle, which I just put in the other day. Then, <coughs> these cotton cleanups, I tend to, like, they go in my empties when I start the pack because I open the pack and decant them into a box. So it's easier for me to just do it at the start rather than hang on to this bit of cardboard until I've used them all up by which point I will have thrown it in the bin. Then <coughs> finished off a tub of washer whiffs and coral waters, which is really, really pleasant. It's a really nice, clean, fresh, really, really like this one. And yeah, finished that one. I also finished off a cucumber and cactus water, and this one was really disappointing, I must be honest. In the tub, it smells really nice, but there's so little scent. Like last this week, I used like two heaped scoops of this and the cucumber and cactus water laundry liquid. Barely got any scent at all. Whereas I used the cucumber and cactus water laundry liquid with one scoop of this and this was all I could smell. So yeah, do better Scentsy. No, I'm not the first person to have said about the poor performance of the scent. Then last but not least, I have a little miniature shower oil, nurturing shower oil in Indian rose and sweet almond oil which is from Rituals, and it was the ritual of Ayurveda. Ayurveda. Ayurveda, I think it is. Um, this was absolutely beautiful. So when I was in Ibiza, I bought some Factor 50 Sport Sun Cream, and the lady gave me this to try. So brought it home, and yeah, really, really liked it. They did actually send me a voucher for a free full-size bottle of this with a purchase for my birthday. So 
at some point in the next couple of weeks um, I will go and get something and I will get my full size bottle of that and that's it for this month well not this month because it is now the 1st of July but for the June empties so I hope that was a bit insightful and until next week when I will do my next weekly warming I will bid you farewell and I will catch you all soon see ya Thank you.